Facebook crushes its Q2 earnings, Amazon opens a dedicated Kickstarter product shop, Trump asks Russia to hack Hillary, and more. It's Wednesday, July 27th, and this is Crunch Report. Xiaomi, the Chinese tech giant, held a press event to unveil its new Redmi Pro smartphone today. But it also dropped a surprise with the unveiling of the Mi Notebook Air. I can't think of what other computer with the name Air in it this is competing with. It'll come to me. The laptop comes in two sizes, 13.3 inch and 12.5 inch, running Windows with a full HD display, full metal body, and a Type-C USB charging, and two USB slots. There's a full-size keyboard with Apple S keys that are individually backlit. Under the hood, Xiaomi is promising an Intel Core i5 processor with 8GB DDR4 RAM and 256GB PCIe SSD and an expandable SSD slot. For games, there's a dedicated NVIDIA GeForce 940MX graphics card. The starting price is around $540 for the 12.5-inch model, with the larger flagship model coming in at $750 and it will go on sale in China on August 2nd. Kickstarter, I'm a fan. I've backed some projects here and there, a movie, a video game console, other little things. Sometimes they end up being cool, sometimes a waste of money. Now an option for the more risk averse. Today, Amazon announced it's teaming up with Kickstarter to offer successful Kickstarter products a way to reach more customers through a dedicated section on Amazon's website. The online retailer is now featuring a group of over 300 Kickstarter products across a variety of categories like electronics, books, home and kitchen, movies and TV, and more. While the online shop is new to Amazon, the retailer has already sold Kickstarter goods on its site prior to now. To date, Amazon.com customers have purchased millions of Kickstarter products. Earnings for Facebook came out today. Coming off an all-time high stock price of $123.34, Facebook in Q2 2016 smashed earnings again. The social network continued steady growth, just slightly slower at 3.63% compared to last quarter's 3.77%, adding 60 million monthly users this quarter to reach 1.71 billion. It scored $6.44 billion in revenue and 0.97 earnings per share, blowing past estimates of $6.02 billion and 0.82 earnings per share. Josh Constein dove deep into the earnings with his post. Read all about what this all means there. Scully, the company known for making the motorcycle helmet with the heads-up display, has seized operations and we're told the website will be turned off at some point today. Weller, the company's CEO and co-founder, has also been asked to sign a confidentiality deal with investors. Weller told TechCrunch today he will not sign and that he's completely walked away from all dealings with the company as of 10 days ago. On a phone call with TechCrunch, Weller said, I'm shocked and deeply saddened that they would now shut this company down. We were raising a Series B to continue raising capital, but then we had a buyer. I'm almost dubious to this. According to a source, Weller botched a possible acquisition deal with Chinese company Lay Sports. Weller, however, disagrees with that story. In a statement from Scully late Tuesday night, they said, The Scully executive team is working diligently on closing a round of funding so that we can continue to fulfill our pre-orders and delight our customers. We'll see what happens. More insanity coming from my favorite insane person. At a press conference in Florida today, Trump invited Russia, the whole freaking country, to hack into Hillary Clinton's inbox and release the 30,000 emails that are missing. If this sounds irresponsible to you, it's because it is. Encouraging a foreign power to find out about state secrets isn't in your country's best interest, but it looks like Trump really, really wants to win this election. He's like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Trump also said, Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. I think that you will probably be rewarded mightily by our press. The Democratic National Committee getting hacked. Now Trump calling for Hillary to get hacked. Dems blaming the Russians on hacking the DNC. Can we get a do-over? Are, are there do-overs in this? I, I don't care about both Trump and Hillary. I, I call do-over. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. See you tomorrow.